I got, I ha went to Indiana Jones and Jaws and every movie that Steven Spielberg's ever made. And by the way, he's never made a movie with a female lead. Sorry, Steven. I don't mean to call your ass out, but it's true. The color purple, thank you. Okay, I'm wrong. Um, he directed? Oh, so I'm right still, okay. You know, I'm not really much of a fan of Elizabeth Banks. I mean, I know she's been in things, things that I've liked, probably things that I haven't, but I don't really hold her in any, any certain regard or disregard. But when she started making films, I can honestly say I didn't really care. Uh, you know, I didn't watch the new Charlie's Angels that she did because I didn't really care who was for who was in it. I mean, I like the old one personally. I'm all about Lucy Lou. And so when I heard she was doing Cocaine Bear, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm going to watch it because it's called Cocaine Bear and it's about a bear on cocaine. But I don't really care that she's the director. I could care less. Um, but I saw this uh, article from Variety that everyone was talking about where she said she's going to risk it all. That it's an this uh, Cocaine Bear could possibly be a career ending move for her. And it's just like, why? I mean, it's just a movie about a bear on cocaine. I feel like a lot of people would just enjoy it because it sounds comedic and it and it's going to be violent, like and gory. Oh, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me straight. Let me watch it. And uh, I, I'm assuming she probably, you know, thought it was going to be career ending, not because of the bear on cocaine, but I believe because, spoiler alert, she has a scene in it where some kids do cocaine. The kids in the film, they end up doing some of the cocaine that is found in the, in the mountains. And it is kind of like a jarring scene. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's Like I said, it's a good movie, star-studded cast. But at the same time, it's just like, man, I, I couldn't. That scene was pretty rough. And there were like some families in the theater. And it's like, first of all, you know, it's a rated R movie called Cocaine Bear. Why would you bring your kids? Don't you think that maybe an adult would do cocaine? I didn't think a kid would. But maybe someone else would be doing some cocaine since they're drug dealers. Uh, but, you know, you can bring your kids to whatever you want. Yeah, I'd like to do you do you. But it was very it was very shocking to see the scene work play out because I thought they were gonna get interrupted or something. And they didn't. They straight up use a knife and they eat some of it. And it's just kinda like uh holy shit, look at they're doing some coke. There they go. And you know, I always know and I've heard about people saying that child actors child actors have it hard and they always grow up into like, you know, somewhat troubled individuals or having a hard life or whatever. And I can only imagine, you know, having these kids do a cocaine scene. I'm surprised their parents even let them do it because it's cause and effect for other kids wanting to possibly watch this movie because it's called Cocaine Bear and then seeing that scene and then just being like, you know what, I want to try it. And it's just like... No, but I mean, yeah, the kids are doing it in the show. So I guess some kids are going to be like, I'm going to just see what it's like because maybe they didn't do it right. <laughs> you know, I mean, fuck's sake. Um, but other than that, like, that's the only thing I could think of that would make this a career ending fucking move for her because that I don't think any other I don't think anyone else could put that in a film and justify it. Only Elizabeth Banks can literally put kids doing cocaine in a film and then be like, oh, it's okay. You know, they're adults. <laughs> they're, they're fucking practically adults. So we need them to do some hardcore scenes, you know. I think putting kids into adult scenarios too, like truly adult scenarios is always, to me, can be very funny. Right. And the movie's notion that we could find like kids to put into this scenario I was like well you're never gonna have a bigger underdog than like anybody meeting a bear that they don't know is high in cocaine right <laughs> well, um the rest of the cast was great i mean you know i feel i, I it's i just it's just interesting you know i mean ray lolita's in it F fantastic i mean rest in peace you know just, I, I think the last film he was in before he passed scott cs is in it who is this hilarious tiktok comedian i saw his face and i was like i know i know this guy but who is he oh shit he's a fucking tiktok comedian it had uh oshia jackson jr fucking ice cube's son another guy when i was watching it i was like I feel like I've seen this guy. Who is this guy? It's fucking Ice Cube's son. Jesse Tiger Jesse Tyler Ferguson from Modern Family, one of the 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 gay couple from Modern Family, he was in it. And uh uh Alden Enrich, the guy that played Solo from the Han Solo film, he was in it. And I thought he was way better in this than he was in Solo, that's for sure. But yeah, the the child actors, Bro uh, Brooklyn Prince and Christian Connery, of all of the cast, they're the only two that actually do the cocaine in the movie, which I thought was pretty pretty random, okay? I would have rather had Ray Lolita do a line and then fucking get all roided out and try to fight the bear and then die 
you know, that would have been cool. I thought he was actually going to do that, but no, he just ended up dying. Uh, and then as for everybody else, I mean, they did great, but she, uh, she, in this other article, she, uh, Elizabeth Bank has stated that they had put, they pulled back on some of the scenes of gore and they cut out some of the extra scenes of gore or whatever, because they thought that the, she felt that the audience at this point was on a journey and they didn't need to be bogged down or bombarded with more gory scenes and it's like girl this movie is literally called cocaine bear all we want to see is this bear fuck shit up i mean my favorite scene is easily the scene with scott Sias when because he, he's the ambulance driver when the ambulance pulls up that's the best part of the movie because they literally didn't deserve what happened to them and they got called there by chance so it's just fucking sad <laughs> but um yeah it's a great film i mean i really did enjoy it i thought it was funny i thought it was the the plot was well well done the way that everyone kind of meets up in the in the fo the forest is kind of interesting how it all plays out but like i said it was just spoiler alert, the kids do the cocaine and i just thought that was a little a little too much and the fact that there were families in the theater it was it made it that much like more like oh shit like the more, i was that much more aware of like wow yeah these kids are literally eating cocaine and like some people in the theater are like laughing about it because it was a full theater but at the same time other people are probably talking to their kids like because you hear a lot of whispers of people probably telling their kids like hey don't you fucking run into the woods and do cocaine all right don't you fucking i'll beat your ass like because like <laughs> that's exactly what they do they skip school and they do cocaine now i know it's the universal studios film i know universal studios has done other movies of kids doing drugs and doing dr like drinking in school or like you know in college or whatever but these kids are literally like in elementary school you know like come on i could see elizabeth banks doing a remake or a reboot of lord of the flies or fucking um what was it the outsiders and then just making it super fucking weird like 2023 weird and just having all these like gay kids or like trans kids in it and then just i don't know you know pony boy would have a whole new meaning you know besides just a nickname he'd probably be like really interested in ponies um but yeah so Co Co cocaine bear check it out i mean it's a great it is a great it's a good movie i enjoyed it i would just say that scene with the kids was kind of i'd rather have three more scenes of bloody bear violence or a guy another dude doing cocaine try, doing cocaine trying to fight the bear i would ha rather have that over the scene with the kids doing cocaine just because you don't need to see that it's not necessary but anyway it's been ghost on the craig thank you so much for tuning in watch it cocaine bear uh just maybe don't bring the kids <laughs> or you know what fuck it bring the kids i don't really care but it's just that's just me